Hello and welcome to the final nine of the Discraft Ledgestone Open presented by Merrill. We're here. We did it. Missy Gannon is leading the way. It's been exciting to watch so far. Thanks for joining us. I'm Erica Stinchko. I'm Madison Walker. We're your two hockey. Honk. Honk. Yeah, we got nine more. A little bit uh, slippery conditions out here at Northwoods, but a nice cool day and really enjoyable to be in the woods. Uh, 50% of the women um, from the tournament made the cut to play the final day. And uh, Missy Gannon started the round at with a four-stroke lead. It got down to one stroke. She expanded it back to four. Ella Hansen in solo second. Owen Scoggins tied for third with Sarah Hookham, who's one down. Uh, and Holland Hanley, who is one down. Maria Oliva, two down. And Holly Finley is four down. They're tied for six. So it's pretty tight. Um, but Missy has a little bit of a cushion going into the back. Yeah, everyone on our lead card keeping it pretty solid. It's minimizing a lot of mistakes. We're not seeing anything huge. Hole 10, regardless, is a nice little breather, though. At 325 feet, it's pretty wide open. You can kind of let one loose and know that you're going to be able to get up and down for par. The only mistake to be made here would be it's a slightly elevated basket, and sometimes you can find yourself putting a couple times if you really let one air ball. I like the hyzer route that we're going to see Missy take out wide. Me you want to go just around the outside of that big tree and let it skip back in. Missy does it perfectly. So perfect. That was her Z force. There is a left hand route as well. That's a little bit less low ceiling, but it works more for the forehand than it does for a backhand turnover. Yeah, I think for the right hand backhand player, the right side hyzer is kind of the cleanest line. Of course, Owen is going to do the opposite of what we say. Uh, every time. <laughs> every dude. time. She does burn it into the ground low. So once on my card today said, this hole really doesn't fit the rest of the course. Like it's, look at it. It's so wide open and like park style all of a sudden, but just for one hole when you go right back in. Great shot from Ella. That was a swirly S-line PD. An error you can make as well is throwing a little too straight, being in the shul on the right or the left-hand side. Doesn't really leave you much of a putt, but pretty easy to scramble your par. I think the right-hand side is getting slightly friendlier as more and more people tromp through there. There's like this weird gap over there now. Yeah, there's room from circle almost all the way to circle two. Check out for some more Jomez merch. Um, all kinds of stuff available at the shop, jomespro.com. Own approaching nicely. She's in the bullseye for her par. Macy with another long look, probably 50-ish feet. Not a layup. There Not a layup, go. but a little bit know. of a bid. This one is an awkward height, mm -hmm. just slightly elevated. There's something about an elevated basket without the lighthouse underneath it that makes it even, like, just makes it kind of weird looking. <laughs> it does It does I, look weird. Look how tall it is. Yeah, I caught what? myself, like, pausing on my putt, like, okay, higher. <laughs> 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 um, really nice birdie from Missy. Owned with a great scramble for par as well. Macy going to do the same. And that's one that you want to kind of gain strokes on the field if you can. Um, you don't feel great when you don't nab a birdie on hole 10. Yeah, there's just not that much danger, and it's way more wide open, as we said. Ella parked. Yeah. Keeps it to four strokes. She's looking so confident on this final round lead card. Yeah, a couple errors, but, you know, very understandable ones. I mean, she's gotten four birdies as well, which is And bouncing back phenomenal. really well from them. Mm-hmm. Hole 11, the shortest hole in the course. It's 260 feet, my favorite hole. Uh, I like the kind of flip up turnover backhand, but a sidearm works as well. You can throw putter or mid, or if you're going sidearm, you often see fairway driver, own probably going destroyer, because that's what she does. I bet she'll throw a backhand just to really confuse throw us. Throw a backhand <laughs> destroyer. <laughs> Yeah, I like the backhand turnover play as well. The forehand, you have to push that one weird leaning tree and you somehow always find yourself kicking left into the woods and making it a really difficult hole all of a sudden. Door is open for Ella to get a stroke here. Missy catching one of the late trees and dropping to circle two. She's going forehand with a metal flake MD5. Kind of a weird mistake from Ella. Overturns it. MD5, yep. so 
Dismania, that would be less stable than like I think an so. MD3, right? I think so. No. Yeah. Or is it more stable? I, I don't think you you can like generalize it. No? Okay. Yeah. I, I, I think you could initially, but then it changed. Okay. I could be Well, wrong. I don't know what an MD5 is, but she overturns it. Own I think with it, a great backhand shot. It was a backhand, and that looked like a slower speed disc. <laughs> She's mildly satisfied with it. Macy going orbit fell in forehand. That's pretty solid as long as it doesn't skip too far. And that's probably the most common landing zone, buzzing the basket, a little bit of an uphill comeback putt. Ella from circle three. Really? Good bid. Yeah, really nice little floaty bid. And her putting is looking so solid. If she's missing, it's within a couple feet. Missy actually landed a bit closer than I thought. She is just barely in circle two. And cash. She capitalizes. Wow. Let's see that again. Her straddle putt is looking just as good and clean as her stagger putt. Yeah, it is. Extends her lead to five. 56% of the field getting birdies on this one. Missy making sure she gets the must get. Macy high on her birdie bit. Yeah. <laughs> she trudges over. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> kind of looking like Eeyore. Own solid birdie. Gaining one on Ella. Does that get owned? It gets her to one under par, right? She started at at eight. I think that's right. Yeah. And Macy, while getting a lot of pars, needs to find some birdies to hold her spot. Yeah, she has slid down the leaderboard a bit. There's still some time, though. I do think that birdies are a bit tougher on the back. Yeah, there's some very challenging holes. Being Sarah Hokum keeping pace with Ella. Speaking of challenging holes, the legendary hole 12. Your first shot, you want to go over this creek here, pushing these trees on the right-hand side, landing somewhere in the middle. You can get aggressive and try to get all the way to the base of the hill or throw something short, either or work. It's just what you're comfortable with to set yourself up for the second shot down the tunnel. Uh, you can hammer one, try to get some ground down that narrow tunnel, or you can lay up to the mouth of the gap at the top of the hill and throw your third shot down the tunnel. There are jaily trees all the way down the right and left-hand side, and that's where you see most players picking up strokes. It does open up a little bit as you get towards the green, so the further you can get down there, the more likely you will have a putt. <laughs> Own work on the right side, calling for it to fade. Oh, Oof. Uh, she's in that ditch. That is, that's uh, not good. Yeah, it's pretty steep on that wall. We'll see if she has good footing. Is there water down there? Probably. Hello, with a nice soft hyzer. I really like this play. You really don't need to push that close to the hill to have, you know, a decent second shot. I know there's like, there's a little spring back there because there's always water trickling even when it's really dry. But I'm assuming after that rain that it's pretty wet down there. Macy working the right side as well. That's so good. It is good. Yeah. Okay, not, not terrible. It's better to be further back than on the wall. Own still has opportunity to save par here. Mm, Oof. It's going to be too far left. Yeah. Although, I don't know, you, can, you really only have to get to the mouth of the gap and then throw that perfectly dead straight 220-foot tunnel shot. <laughs> doable. Yeah. That's what Erica's saying. It's doable. That is what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Feasible. Missy pulling out another flex sidearm. Oh, and that's going to be pretty awkward on that hillside. I mean, it was well done, but the footing there makes it tough to attack for birdie anyway. She's okay with it. She's okay with pretty much everything all the time. Ella trying to get some distance down the gap. 
I like it's not it bad. No, if you're going to error, I do prefer the left side because you can do that straddle step out sidearm. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit less awkward than the patent pinning backhand from the right side. Yeah, I agree. Macy trying to send it down this tunnel as well. If you didn't watch round one, I prefer chilling and just throwing to the mouth of the gap and then trying to throw that perfectly dead straight 220 foot tunnel shot. <laughs> Looks like Owen's going to do the Erica play. Oh, mm, no. Too far. Missy, let's see how aggressive she gets down the tunnel. Pretty chill. Yeah. Pretty smooth. Very chill. Yeah, dead center. Man, I really like that play. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very smart. Yeah, it never occurs to me to, like, do layups like that. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Wow. What a great recovery shot from Own. She's going to have an obstructed putt, but the fact that she has a putt is pretty unreal with yeah. those first three shots. Mm -hmm. Here's that step out sidearm Mad was talking about. Not oh. enough turn, though, on this forehand. Oof. And not great over there on the right. But uh, maybe a wow. putt. Maybe yeah, a putt. She's way further down than I thought. There's just like a weird, dense row of bushes over there. Mm -hmm. So we'll see if she's in that. Macy with the most technical sidearm ever. Beautiful. So good. That out, or there used to be out of bounds all the way down the left-hand side with this just like absolutely crushing, steep gully down there. But they, it's not so out of bounds today. It's, let's call it what it is, a ravine. It is a ravine. <laughs> it is so sketchy, but... Um, everyone did a really good job of navigating that, staying away from that left-hand side. Oh, no. overshoots it just a hair, but I think she's still within 15 feet. Ella for birdie. Pretty open putt, actually. Good effort. There were only... Two birdies on the day today. The suspense. Let's see if Macy can get one of them. Yay. Hey. First birdie of the round, hole 12. Okay. <laughs> Classic. Classic. Classic Macy. Macy's turnover sidearm has looked so good all round. She's amazing touch. Ella with a nice par. You're never going to be too upset about that on hole 12. Macy. What a birdie. Yeah, hopefully picking up a little momentum here as we move into the final few holes. On the surface, Ledgestone is one of Disc Golf's leading retailers. But look a little closer and you'll find a group of motivated individuals providing the best possible service to the disc golf community. So whether you're building a bag, wanting to support your favorite pro, or looking to add to your disc golf wardrobe, choose Ledgestone. Hole 13, par 4, 502 feet. You want to throw past this lone little evergreen tree in the fairway um, and get to kind of that corner and then ideally throw across this pond to get a birdie putt. You really, another very tiny landing zone. Um, I kind of like, it's a slight turnover, but really it's just kind of a straight shot. Um, early Hitting early like Macy just did is a really common mistake. Um, if I had to pick a mistake, I think I like turning it over slightly a little bit more because you can still like lay up a forehand pretty easily. Or you could just not make a mistake and be really good like Missy Gannon. Wow. Well, although is she too far? Maybe, but left? she's got the flex forehand dialed That's today. That's true. It's a great shot. Ella, shades on. Blocking out the haters. <laughs> and the sun. <laughs> Looks like a slow speed disc. Let me uh, check my my notes here. Yeah, C line MD3, just as far as Missy's thrash. Wow, just silly. Too far, I think, though. Yeah, she'll she'll be in the shul, but it looks fairly wide open. Yeah, it should be an easy par if nothing else. I just don't know if she'll be able to attack. And a nice shot from Own too. She'll have, I think, a little bit more straight 
I know this is surprising, but I'm not familiar with being too far on this hole. <laughs> so surprising. <laughs> um, not a problem I have run into in my career. Yeah, I can tell you um, all about the short sides, though, if anyone's <laughs> curious. <laughs> Own in a great spot to attack. Throws that flex line so good. Are you kidding me? Nestled up to the bottom of the pole, and even on like, top of the ant mound. What? an extreme angle too to throw that destroyer at to just absolutely park the hole and a little bow too That's one thing i didn't really talk about that it is on the pin is on a hill and it's so difficult to control your speed and park it like own just did yeah they cleared it out behind it as well so if you come in hot like you're going Bye. to have a big comeback putt ella tries to pitch out but doesn't quite get as far as you want missy throwing <laughs> that flex sidearm safe All right, Ella does have an open look at it and throws a straight putter shot. Okay. Mm-hmm. You're making me a little nervous with that short OB line. I mean, I do think that that's the better mistake than blasting past it, though. Yeah, you don't want a death putt back towards OB. I love the forehand approach. I think that's the best way to get there and control your speed on that hillside. Macy's so good at that shot. Oh, jeez. Uh-huh. Missy barely staying in bounds, but now has a birdie attempt. Those muddy shoes. Wow. Are you? <laughs> she shakes her the, head. the Missy head shake is one of my favorite all time reactions. She's like, really again? They're like, okay. Like, sure. Surprising herself. Yeah. She's like, why not? So good. Wow. And look at Missy lighting up this back nine. Yeah, Ella with a good par save there. What, Missy's four down on the round now? Yeah. Ella's so close to putting together a killer round. And again, I mean, she is under par by two strokes, which is a great score. Yeah. Like a... Usually the best scores we see are at that four to five range, though we have seen, a, we saw a seven last year from Alexis Mandujano. Um, yeah, that's crazy. Back-to-back -back birdies from Macy Vela Diaz. Big smiles, lots of fist pumps. Sarah Hokum hanging in there, three down through 13, still tied for second with Ella. Hole 14. Legendary par five, the most difficult hole on the course, in my opinion. At 731 feet, you have to throw an initial 240 ish feet to open up this gap. And then most of the 731 feet is all the way down this fairway as well. Super narrow, getting more narrow as you get close to the basket. There's not really one good route for the disc to fly. Um, it's all about just breaking the hole into little parts and the way that you feel comfortable with it. Going deep here uh, is, I think, a little bit better than being too short, but both of them are not that great. Missy puts it in the perfect spot to open up her second shot. Yeah, it was her Z Raptor. I do think a mid or a fairway is the ideal play off the tee here. You see Own go too deep, and I actually think it's better to, to throw short and cut the corner um, than go too deep because at least you have a chance to get through. Own is going to be pretty pinched. Oh, Macy gets a pretty, I don't know. I guess it was an okay kick. She's right where Owen is. Yeah, and that's actually not a bad place to be. There's a little false fairway over there that's surprisingly open, especially if you can throw the flex forehand. That's funny. It sounds like you prefer that side and I prefer the short side. I actually do love that side. Huh. I threw the, one of the best shots of my life. Oh, wow. Look at it. There's a, there's a real gap. Yeah. Right, I'm going to have to reevaluate. If I could pick it, I would pick it. I do like it there. Own, not quite getting the turn on the disc that she wants, but she'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, she's not not too far off the fairway. Macy going for the same gap here. Looking pretty dang good. Yeah, I like it because um, throwing a forehand keeps you out of that sea of trees that's on the left-hand side, kind of a jaily spot to land and where a lot of backhands can trickle to on this middle gap 
Ella is so pinched on a tree yeah, that really she has to... awkward stance. Yeah, she has to take a lot of power off. Missy with the best chance at it, though. Unlike what we just saw from the other ladies, this is more of a dead straight shot, and we see she does pull it a little bit, though... The course loves her. She gets through most of it. <laughs> the classic Missy knows she got away with one smile. Oh, yes. just hammering another flex. Oh, wow. Are you kidding me? I think that's the same dish she threw on the last one, <laughs> and it just parks holes, apparently. I swear. It's freaking ridiculous. I, I swear she has the highest percentage for what happens after her disc hits the ground. Does that make sense? After the out highest of anyone, percentage of... Of getting it to go the way you want it oh, to go. Oh, I see. I you see. know what I mean? Yeah. Like her disc lands on these crazy obscene angles, and then, but it always goes the direction that you would ideally like it to go. It's pretty awesome to watch. She'll land sometimes 50 feet from the basket, and it just like... But still get a flare skip? Yeah, like well, Ooh. it'll like dance on the edge all the way up to the bullseye. Yeah, her she knows she throws the same discs over and over and over and knows them just backwards and forwards and where it's gonna skip and roll and dance. Mm-hmm. Macy, unfortunately, with an early tree hit, but recovering. What a recovery! Recovering so well. She's gonna take a par, and one of her shots was ten feet. That's pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. Missy's third. Just now getting warmed up. I, I bet. Macy is not one for the morning rounds. <laughs> she loves an afternoon tea time. <laughs> Overall, our lead card doing pretty dang well on this hole. See a lot of bogeys on this one. Missy, very obstructed. Just trying to get it close for her par. Own for birdie. Yes. Wow. Wow was right. <laughs> this played us the second most difficult hole of the day. Uh, there was only one birdie. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Let's go own. Had a baby own. Par feels good here, though. Only three competitors getting to even circle two in regulation. <laughs> and with that owns going to tie it up at second place with sarah hokum and ella all 15 ob stake line all along the left side uh, a backhand to kind of where it bubbles out on the left there is a really good play. You see a lot of sidearms, which is kind of a safer play off the tee, but leaves it harder to birdie. Second shot, I think it calls for more of a sidearm, but you can get a backhand there. Just don't go OB on the first shot. That's uh, rule number one. And again, so this is the sidearm play, and it it's okay over there, but it's so hard to get to the pin. Yeah, it really pinches off the ability to attack because that... Basket is so far past that line of fairway trees on the right-hand side. If you can get a backhand pushing straight all the way to the corner before fading, that's absolutely ideal. It's just scary. Yeah, even Missy's a little pinched mm -hmm. here. And she's, what, probably 20 feet to the left of Own. Yeah, she, I think Missy will definitely have an opportunity to get the birdie, though. Macy opting for the forehand. Going to be in a similar position as own. And Missy. And Missy. Let's see if Ella can get around the corner here. She's going putter. Color glow P1. I love that play. Such good distance. I mean, that had so much life in it still. Mm. Yeah, not a bad kick at the end, but she is going to be pinned up against a couple of those corner trees. Macy... Going sidearm. This is nice. A, a little bit of not a throw in hope because there is a gap there, but the trees are lined up perfectly where you're not really just aiming for one gap. You're just kind of like 
trying to get through. Yeah, the farther left you are, the more true the gaps are. The farther right until, you are, the more you're just kind of... Yeah, just, until you get right by the basket, then there's like three trees on the left side. But you can <laughs> putt from there fairly easily. Yeah, Hitting those is not too shabby. Oh, not able to make it up there. Here's what I'm talking about. There's two real gaps there from where <laughs> Ella was. It was really well done. And sneaks in just before that little line of trees. Perfect. Missy going backhand, patent pending. Wow. That gap is so much tighter than she just made it look. Yeah, it really is. So good. And this used to be a really hard hole on the course, I think, but everyone just figuring it out and able to get past that corner a lot more successfully in years past. Yeah, we, we would just see so many people throwing it out of bounds. Mm -hmm. And now it's like... Almost oh, nobody. It's not even that hard anymore. I no. Think. Like, <laughs> still only 16% of the field getting birdies. But still. Ooh. What? Oh! What a par save. All right, she's knocking it down to 500 putts today. Yeah. <laughs> That's well earned. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Double fist bump. And one for good measure. Look at that good gallery out at Northwoods. You know, everyone was happy to come out after restricting gallery people yesterday. Macy for a birdie. Yes. No. Dang. It was a good bid, though. It was so good. Man, when Macy has some confidence and accuracy in her circle two putting, she's going to be deadly. Mm -hmm. Missy for birdie. <laughs> Doesn't really need it, but you know, would have been nice. Great birdie from Ella. Ella, one of four on the day. Jennifer Allen, Allie Smith, and Emily Beach also getting threes. Yeah, Allie was so far off the tee on the left. It was just like. Perfect. Tiniest pitch up in the world. It was so good. Yeah, Ellie Smith can crush a disc. Keep an eye out for her on leaderboards in the future. Only three to go. Missy has a five-stroke lead. Tight battle here, though, for second and third place. Hole 16, 330 feet. My life goal ace hole. Mm -hmm. um, straight downhill. Pretty narrow gap, especially as you get closer to the basket that's up on this little plateau. There is a creek running all the way through the middle of this fairway, but it is casual all the way down. Major mistake here is just hitting early and knocking down. Sometimes it can be difficult just to even get to your disc, much less scramble for your par. Ella turning one super early. It gets through no. everything. That was a great break. Yeah, just short of the green right is a great place to have to scramble from as well. It's probably the friendliest place. That was a color glow P1 again. I can't believe she got through there. Owen oh, throwing something good. with some Come good on. turn. Get stable. Less stable. Dang it. There's no is way. she up there? Yeah, I think so. I think she'll be having to putt up onto the plateau. It's a great shot. Missy threw a Mantis in round one. She changed it to the old Thrasher. She wants an ace here. Yeah, she does. <gasps> wow. <laughs> Why does she even throw any other disc besides a Thrasher? That disc is a part of her. Mm-hmm. Oh, good. Yay. Love the follow flight. Just look how dead straight this thing is. And the is. fact that she can get this distance driver to have the most perfect little landing as well. You know, it doesn't flare skip. It doesn't get a crazy reaction on the ground. It just nestles right up to the bullseye. What a showing from Missy. Yeah, she has, I mean, she's the epitome of consistency this week. It's very impressive to watch. Missy opting for the sidearm, throws it really low. Not a terrible place to scramble from. A little awkward. <laughs> Just a little. But she has these turnover sidearms pretty dialed. She goes a little deep this time. This plate is one of the harder holes of today. Hmm. Just from 
multitude of bogeys, probably trying to scramble from weird spots. Probably mostly that left side, which uh, is a good bid for Mella. We didn't really see our card land over there, but short left really is just awful and now full of water. All right, so Own is on the top. And gets another birdie. Yes. Putting stroke is now warmed up fully. Hitting lots of circles edge putts. Macy to save par. Yes, girl. Yay. Great putt. Warming up, waking up. What do we call it? Both. <laughs> and another birdie from Missy Gannon. Just stacking them up. Why not? Five down. How clean the last nine holes have been. Ella and Own tied for second with two to go. <laughs> Let's see what Sarah Hokum's doing. Still right there. Four down through 16. Holland Hanley in solo fifth. Hole 17. Most women are going to take the left side gap. This is the sidearm gap. That's kind of a flex sidearm. OB line on the left, there is an optional drop zone you can take. Um, that creek is casual. It's not out of bounds. There is OB that wraps from the left side uh, around the back side of the pin. Um, I would say the sidearm's pretty common as well as a flex backhand on the left side. That just she it looks is like a, a magician with this disc. Oh my God. It looked like a shank out of bounds. And look, look at this. Look at this little ground play. That's the epitome of Owen's game. That looked like a shank out of bounds, and now she's parked. <laughs> wow. Like, just try just try to do it like her. Yeah, plus pressure on Ella now. Missy not quite getting as much turn as you want. She's going to be playing with that OB line on the left-hand side. Seems like she stayed safe. Ella going forehand on the right. Ooh. Ooh. I actually think it's fading. Just, oh, okay. Whoa, okay. All right. All right. All right. From the gully, she'll have a very long look. Looks like Owen's going to overtake Ella here, though. Macy with her own flex forehand line. Crazy to see. Pretty. Wow. It is crazy to see three of flex three forehands flex. through the right. Yeah, maybe there's a reason uh, these three made it to this lead card. Yeah. You need that flex forehand. Let's see this follow flight. Macy's Royal Rive. Wow. Perfect. Even pushing the OB line, trusting it to come all the way back. No putts needed. I guess whoever threw the or flew the drone knew what they were doing. <laughs> That's the line. I like giving it a run and staying close. Gonna lose a stroke here to own. Missy did stay in bounds. She's Right around circle's edge for yet another birdie. Oof. Didn't stick. Gosh. Really doesn't need it. Hopefully she's just having fun at this point. <laughs> I think she was having fun starting in round Hopefully one. Hopefully she is having extra fun. <laughs> Owns having extra fun. Always. Macy carding another birdie. Yeah, and that gets her back to even on the round. <laughs> Great birdies. All right, well, let's see if Own is still tied up with Sarah Hokum or if she has solo second with one hole to play. A very difficult finishing hole. Yeah, no birdies round one. Kind of a strange finishing hole because... Yeah, it's the opportunity to score is almost not really there. Yeah. Um, Own is in solo second. Sarah Hokum and Ella Hansen tied. Macy in fifth. Hole 18's 590 feet stretches very far with this fairway shape. You want to throw a distance driver or maybe a fairway driver to this area. It looks like it's not that far, but it's actually about 350 feet. Then you have to go steeply uphill. The shot is very weird because it goes very steep uphill, then it's flat for a very long way. So you have to throw something that's penetrating forward while also going uphill pretty quickly out of your hand. 
That's what makes this shot so difficult to get to the green for birdie. Solid shot from Ohm. Baiting a little bit too much is definitely the preferable play than overturning it to the right. Although it does stretch out that second shot, it does make the angle a little more friendly. So you're yeah, not throwing straight true. uphill. I mean, you would really have to land near that stump, I think, to actually attack the hole. And ha I think you almost have to have like a distance forehand. Totally. Too. Like the backhand is just so tough from that um, slopey landing zone. May see with good distance, but a little bit more in that woods line than Own is. Missy following suit here. Again, you do want to push straighter than these ladies are doing, but it's not bad over there to play for par. Ella's definitely trying to go big here. Mm -hmm. Or just chill and throw a really nice sea uh, line MB3. Very safe. Perfect Very shot. perfect. Missy up first from the woods, probably just trying to get it to the top of the hill. The first plateau of two. She'll be able to see the basket from there, but a little pinched on the right-hand side. A really nice approach shot down the fairway. Yeah, Own got way down there. Macy with a super smooth forehand of her own. Little pinched on the right, but there are, are gaps to get to the pin from over there. Ella, yeah, attacking for sure. Little turned. Ah, uh, that just slight last step going uphill. Ugh, so awkward. Yeah, she had the right height and the right speed. It was just a little bit turned. Missy definitely has the strokes to give up here. We'll see if she tries to get to the pin or, you know, whatever she wants to do. Still sending it. Yeah, why not? Why not? Great shot. You think she goes for it? <laughs> Does the classic <laughs> yes. layup win with a bogey? I think she goes for it. I too. think she goes for it for show. A really nice little technical sidearm approach from Ella. Such a nice little soft landing. Mm. Macy squaring up that tree. Looking like a bogey. Own did a really amazing job to, to get to second place. Like, she was kind of behind Ella and Sarah Hokum all around and then just stacked up the birdies uh, in the back nine. I mean, look at that. She got... Yeah four of the last six holes. Yeah, and that's those are some of the hardest holes on the course no as kidding. well. No kidding. Missy Gannon. Doesn't matter. Still your champion. <laughs> no birdies uh, on the day on hole 18. Man, it must feel so good to defend your title here. Because this is one of the hardest events that we play all year. Absolutely. And then they also made it an Elite Plus this year, so even bigger money. <laughs> Yeah, big money, Missy. Isn't Bigger that? money, Missy. <laughs> yeah. The biggest money, Missy, we've seen so far. Mm -hmm. So Macy, it looks like taking solo fifth. We'll check it in the leaderboard here in a bit. Own Scoggin, solo second place. Ella going to tie with Sarah Hokum, I believe, for third. And Missy Gannon, your ledge zone champion. Go win. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your 2023 Discraft Ledgestone Open Thanks. Champion and two time consecutive champion, Missy Gannon. <laughs> Joining us now, back-to-back -back champion in Missy Gannon. Missy, it was less than a year, under 360 days ago, that you hoisted the trophy, you collected one of your biggest checks, you're doing it again. How does it feel? 
it feels awesome. I never, like, I never thought I'd be a back-to-back -back champion. It's just so hard to do now, and um, but I kind of felt like this was the chance to do it. Um, these are the courses that I, I play so well on, and I feel so comfortable here, and I'm just so happy to have been able to accomplish that feat. I think, you know, sometimes courses just suit your, your game and your shot shapes, and I've been really working on my angles and still being able to rely on my thrashers even in the woods. I just, I don't know, it's just a place that I love coming back to. Like I said, I've been here, I've been coming here since I started touring in 2018, and so my sponsors are here. It's a big Discraft event and Ledgestone. Just feel like I want to come out here and, and represent hard out here. You're called Big Money Missy for a reason, <laughs> collecting another huge check. Anything you want to say to the rest of the world out there? Just thank you all for tuning in and thank you all for coming out and, you know, enduring the weather yesterday with us. Just appreciate all the support and, you know, big shout out to Discraft and Ledgestone for putting on just some of the top notch events of the season. Title, defense, complete. Missy Gannon, champion here again at the Ledgestone Open. Missy Gannon, so poised. So graceful, back-to-back -back Ledgestone Open champion. Yeah, always. what a whirlwind that was. Yeah, she. I mean, was that a wire-to-wire -wire officially? I mean, she had a tie for first at various points, but yeah, wow. was in first the entire time, at least a share of it. Wow, Ella with a really solid show, showing of her own, own Scoggins with that second-place finish. Macy Vela Diaz tying for fifth with Maria Oliva and Holland Hanley right there behind them. Really solid showing today from Holly Finley as well, doing well in the woods. Jennifer Allen and Alexis Mandejano are gonna wrap up the top 10 with a tie for Haley King as well. Um, what an exciting event. Always love Ledgestone. Um, really the next step in what we expect from tournaments in the future. Love the four round events, especially with how the uh, courses complement each other so well. We hope you guys enjoyed having us back in the booth. Yeah, we liked being here. Yeah. Uh, big thanks to the staff. Uh, what an event. I, we can't give enough compliments for everything, all the thousands of hours put into all these courses, everyone who spectated. Thanks to Jomez as well, and just thanks to everybody. Thanks yeah. to you. Yeah, we have so much gratitude. Um, I'm Madison Walker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Erica Stinchcomb. We're the two hot geese. Hong, 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 hong.